And so this week we are in a Japanese language class at Garfield High School working with some incredible students putting arts and creativity, media arts specifically, into their hands so they can use those resources to explore more deeply the culture, the language, and make meaning for themselves through the arts. I'm really excited that we have had this residency program here so that students can engage more with the language in creative ways while they're making videos. So um, that develop their language skills while at the same time developing skills that they can use in other areas of their life. So today we're going to practice. We're going to practice making movies. We're going to practice making movies with iMovie on the iPad, and each of you are going to make a movie today. Yes. The second year assignment um, is a movie trailer in which um, they are all developing a basic movie framework and then um, taking video that they will input into their own little um, movie trailer that um, also in Japanese, of course, and um, highlights a lot of the different things we've been studying. This is really diff different from, um, you know, a typical class um, where it's, uh, students are moving around, they're, being, they're um, you know, acting things out, they're more engaged. It's, it's uh, really fun to see them in these, um, working together and being creative in all these different ways. So one of the things I love about this project and um, also just having things like the Creative Advantage uh, program in our schools is that it gives students a, a lot of the skills that they wouldn't otherwise get um, and these are these are skills that they um, they can transfer to other parts of their life. Creative Advantage is a partnership to bring back arts education to young people in Seattle Public Schools K-12. Uh, we have incredible programs in the district but it's not for it's not available to everybody and what you see behind me right now is going on with young people with technology and creating arts is what we're trying to do is get arts back in the hands of our young people so they can learn in and through creativity and be successful. Uh, doing a media project in Japanese really helped me because I could really practice and like get better at Japanese. Making a media project was fun. It was really, really cool to see it on the big screen. So for, for this class, they're creating um, a cooking video um, where they're going to work, work with um, their group to give a sort of like cooking show on a video that sh that explains in Japanese how to make a Japanese dish. So um, they're developing the skills, um, the filmmaking skills, ba basics in order to be able to to do that at home. Um, and then at the end, we'll all come together, ha um, have our pieces um, shown in class, and have and everyone will sample the different foods we've made. So. Um, in the class, we did a Japanese cooking show, and what I like was going over to my partner's house and making the food, because we actually got to know each other better and we had more fun. <laughs> Rather than just taking a test, it helped me learn the language more because we had to incorporate the language into the cooking, because it's part of the culture. And anything that gets the fire under them a little bit and gets them more excited about engaging with the language in new ways is always really fun. Another thing I'm really excited about with this project is um, I'm gaining a lot of the skills to be able to better help students in the future with um, the video projects and um, helping them uh, help facilitate their their language growth through these, these pro projects. So EMP is deeply committed to youth development through integrated arts and this project at Garfield High School is a perfect example of the community coming together in an integral supportive atmosphere to really help these kids succeed in areas that are connected to career, connected to really deeply engaged learning. So um, integrating arts into curriculum is about making connections, right? So visual arts and science, um, music and mathematics, dance and even PE. It's an opportunity to make connections across content areas for young people. And the reality is that through the arts, young people and anybody really, artists, people of all ages, once you engage uh, in the arts, you're engaging in creativity, which means you're 
you're taking risks, you're collaborating, you're persisting, you're imagining possibilities, you're problem solving, you're grappling with information and making meaning in new ways. So those are incredible skills that um, are practice at length through the arts and are important for whatever you're doing and whatever you're learning.